Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. Uh, the craziest, sometimes I'm crazy, sometimes I'm silly. There are rare instances where I, I am a serious troll because I consider myself a troll, a cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. So welcome if you've been here before. Thank you for being here and coming back. If you're new, if you enjoy the madness, the craziness, and all kinds of other just random stuff, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. This video, I'm gonna try and be quick because if my video is over 10 minutes, it can take up to two hours to upload and I'm sure that's my internet signal. It's just crazy. Anyway, Ipsy Glam Plus bag. I received the email on October 9th that it had been shipped. I received it and I wrote it here in case I didn't do the video right away. I received it Saturday, October 12th. It feels like I'm yelling. I just got in from Baltimore Playhouse and it's like 10 after three in the morning. So I'm kind of wired on Mountain Dew. But anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm going to upload this on the 13th, but actually it is the 13th because it's past midnight. So happy Sunday to you. And I will try to get this up in a timely manner. So I just actually cut it open with my scissors. I cannot even think if I know what's in here at all. It says, discover yourself. I have my reading glasses here. So I can read things and not be like, oh, what does that say? And the box does not want to stay open. It has an orange foam thing in here. I just remembered that about BoxyCharm. The other day I was saying how I don't remember them bubble wrapping the individual items. And that's because they used to just put a piece of foam in it. But I do like them bubble wrapping the items separately versus just the foam piece and having everything together. All right, so let's just jump into this. Um, discover yourself, it says down here. Flaunt it. So I'm guessing that's the theme of this month's box. Let's start obsessing over what we love about ourselves. It's time to show off what makes you feel beautiful. Those lips, that skin... And who better than iconic beauty muse and confidence queen Betty Boop to inspire you to flaunt it unapologetically. That's what all of this says. And I'm going to try and tilt so you don't get the glare. Even though I know that kind of looks crazy when people are looking at you over their glasses. Um, so, <laughs> I, di I did pick um, the Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette. But I'm just going to dig in and the first thing that I pull out is what I'll show you. There's a number down here and I don't know what it means. Like BoxyCharm it has a variation number. Um, this has box 106 OC19. So is it box 106 October 2019? I don't know. If you guys know what these numbers are, let me know. That's down in the right-hand corner of the boxy charm paper. And then there's another number, 1013841. Please let me know what these numbers mean. So the first thing I'm going to pull out of here is the Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette, which is the item that I did choose. Because I had like so many eyeshadow palettes and so few blush palettes. And so if I'm going to get something, um, I'd rather be something I don't have a bunch of. And it is taped down, so I'm trying to pull the tape off because they have each side. I'm not even holding it up for the camera. They have each side taped down to hold this plastic piece in the middle. Okay, so that's out. So it says on the back, lovecraftbeauty.com. Huh. And it has the shades on the back. This entire front is a mirror, except there's like a border over the mirror. These are the shades. If I can hold it this way without blinding you, I can read what the shades actually are. This one is, oh gosh. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Are these English? Where is this from? Made in China. Not for resale. I don't know. What, I don't want to butcher the name. The names. Oshalia. I, I'm guessing. Dolphine. Altheta. Altheta. I don't know. But these. These do look like colors that I would actually wear. And that will show up on my skin. And I want to. I'm going to. I have on two ring lights. Okay, that's better. So these are the shades. I have the little ring light, the newer ring light. I think it was called newer from before. And then I purchased a larger one. So I turned off the smaller one down here. So these are, and it's still not true to color because they're darker. I'm going to get all up in your grill. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> so these are what the colors look like. And this is true to pan 
what the colors look like. And so they do look like they would show up on my complexion. And so I'm excited to try that. Maybe I'll just keep the ring light off. Because with my glasses on, you can't really see my forever bags. Look at that. And this side is matching luggage. Anyway, the next thing I'm pulling out of here, and this video is going to be too long. <laughs> Back to the blush palette. This retails for $30. And I will put somewhere in the video how much this box retails for. Ipsy Glam Plus, I believe, is $25 for the subscription. And it says you'll get at least $120 worth of products. The next thing I'm pulling out of here, it's Jolie Cosmetics Spectra Stick and Stella. Stella in French means pretty. I'm reading what it says because I'm not sure. Oh, it's a highlighter. This universally universally flattering rose quartz highlighter is infused, yada, 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 yada. This retails for $26. I realized I'm not really a highlight person. And so I probably, I'm trying to get it open without like ripping it because since I might give it away, but I think I'm going to have to rip it because it's not wanting to open. Is it taped down? Like they package your stuff really well. So when you just tore like tore the box open. Ah. So this is what that looks like, and it's actually not that big. And so this is the color, and it's true to color since I turned all the bright ring lights off. So this is kind of deceiving because this thing is freaking huge. Oh, you know what? Because it goes all the way in. And then you push it in and pull it out. Push it in, pull it out, push, pull. Anyway, I'm I'm wired on Mountain Dew, excuse me. The next thing I'm pulling out of here, beautiful for you, Farah, Farah, F-A-R-A-H. These brushes, it's a Midnight Pro Trio brush set that retails for $48. Oh, what? Maybe they'll say on there what they are. Where's my scissors? Let me cut this open. It is a re it is in a resellable bag, but it's just it would just take me too long to get that open, especially tonight. I'm kind of wacky. Actually, I'm always kind of wacky. So these brushes, all of them are kind of not kind of. All of them are square. I'm taking they are, they do have plastic covering each brush, so I'm just like tossing that aside. This one is a it says cheeky in two eighteen. They feel soft, but they don't, they're not the softest brushes I've used. And they're like a, it's kind of like a blunt cut in a way. Like, I don't, brushes are having different shapes these days than like what I'm used to from like 10 years ago. But it feels soft, but we'll see. I always wash brushes before I use them, so we'll see what it feels like after I wash it. I do like the handles. I don't know if you can see, you can grip it. It's not completely round like down here. There's divots right here. You know, on one side, there's a divot. So I guess for you to hold, I don't know. This one says stippling 40 FM. So I'm guessing for foundation. These are 100% vegan, cruelty-free, expert, expertly designed for flawless application. So that's that one. And the third brush, and each of them have that same design, like a finger hold spot which I know you can't see and this one says 20 ff straight and I'm not sure what this is for but I will find a use for this and the next thing I'm pulling those yeah they retail for $48 I did say that the next thing I'm pulling out of here is the Betty Boop Ipsy drawn to you eyeliner this retails for $16. Da, 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 da. Basic black liner. Not too much to say about that. The next thing I'm pulling out of here, which you guys, if you've watched me, know I'm not going to use. Touch of Soul No, no Pore Blown Priming Water values at $23. And, I, and I, say, I said what I said because those of you who watch me know that I cannot deal with things that are highly fragranced. And all of these No Pore Blown things have a lot of fragrance. And this is... I think exactly the same thing we we received in BoxyCharm a couple months ago that I I was not able to use because the scent was so strong. Um, did I say what this retails for? For $23. It's a priming water. So put it on under your foundation before you put on your other stuff. 
It says, yeah, you dispense one or two drops onto fingers and press, gently press into clean, dry skin. It also says mix into your favorite foundation for a boost of hydration. I won't be using that to do anything. The last thing I'm pulling out of here, ew, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my, I just, I'm a texture person and it's a bag, but this texture, like if you can see it, when you go this way, it just feels like really, like I don't like, when you go this, when you, when, it, every, when all the parts are down, it's smooth, but when you go this way, it's like really grainy and it's, I don't like this at all. Somebody will, but not me. If it was all like the front part, like this is cute. I'm not, I'm not really a Betty Boop fan. I don't like her, I don't hate her. I'm saying it like she's even a real person. But I'm not really into cartoony things. But the way the backside of this feels to me is just gross. I, Cause I'm, like I said, I'm a texture person. I like smooth stuff and it, this is not that. This side is, is nice and the bag is cute. Have a little heart, you wanna be cute. I'm definitely gonna give this bag away and I'm sure the person, whoever I give it to will love it. It's just a plain bag. It's red on the inside. It's cute. It says Betty Boop by Ipsy there. I just don't like the touch of that. Um, yes, I did throw it. Actually, the bag was free. Like, there's there's nothing on here about the bag. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know. If you received um, Ipsy Glam Plus bag, let me know what your thoughts are, what you like, what you don't like. Also, let me know too, like, how do you guys feel about products with a lot of fragrance? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, this smells so good, I love to use it. And I'm just like, I, I, I just can't. I just can't. It makes my nose itch, my eyes itch. Um, sometimes, usually, it ends up making my skin break out. I, I just cannot with fragrance. Um, but people love it or companies wouldn't still keep making it. So thanks guys for watching and tolerating my craziness and my favorite bags are saying see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.